Yeah, what a good day. Today we want to talk about the functions of the stock exchange, right? Uh, we have got different stock exchanges and we'll be mainly focusing on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. So uh, the first function of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange is it gives opportunity to financial institutions such as insurance companies to invest their funds in shares. A lot of companies they want to invest even like individuals also they also want to invest so uh, the Johannesburg stock exchange it gives uh, all these financial institutions an opportunity to actually invest in these uh, different companies and shares right again it serves as a barometer or an indicator of economic uh, conditions in South Africa. And that's other function of the stock exchange. It acts as a barometer, right, or an indicator. It measures like the conditions, what's happening in the economy of South Africa, right? Again, the other function of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, it keeps investors informed on share prices by publishing the share prices daily. Uh, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, they publish the share prices daily. So the investors, they've got the opportunity to actually know what is happening on the market. They know which shares are rising. They can make decisions. They can buy. They can sell. Right? And they act as a link between investors and public companies you know public companies they offer their shares via the stock exchange and the investors they buy those shares from uh, from the stock exchange so the stock exchange is a link between investors and public companies and again shares they are valued and they are accessed by experts right because some of the investors uh, they they don't know and again they are small investors who wants to start They just have to market the investment of the opportunity. And orderly market opportunities serves as a disciplinary market opportunities. And again, uh, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, it also encourages new investments because it mobilizes the funds of insurance companies and other institutions. So those people have got money, right, they can invest, they can see new investments, they can make decisions, right? And again, it raises the primary markets and regulates markets for deducing or dealing with shares. And again, it plans, it researches, and it advises on investment possibilities. It does not only give the prices of shares, but again, it plans you know, it researches, it advises people to make the right choices, it indicates which companies are really profitable. And again, it ensures that markets operate in a transparent manner. That's the other duty of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. And it also provides protection for investors. There is no way that investors, they are going to invest and lose their money. So that's the other function of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange it also protects investors because uh, no one wants to invest in money uh, where there is risky. So they make sure that there is no risky, there is no company that is not going to pay those people who invested or the shareholders or those people who parted their money. Because the moment that you put your money, you are actually expecting to get a profit. And again, it encourages short-term investments 
people they are always investing so the joint uh, stock exchange it encourages those short-term investments and again it facilitates electronic trading of shares the world that we are leading is the digital world so it also facilitates all those transfers so basically those are the functions of the joint Spec stock exchange thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to our channel edward chawana tutorials for more business studies lectures be free to contact us on 078-196-5544. You can also catch us on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Thank you so much.